Hello mga kaguro, this is Sir Jory, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In today's video, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng isang uh, offline Android mobile application po that can work in your smartphone and tablet. And this kind of application is a module application that could be used by our teacher and also by our learners at home. Instead of sending them the printed copy of their module, we can provide them the digital copy of this module via application and they can use this one offline. They can uh, easily access all the modules that are present also in the particular quarter and it will be easier for them to learn because they can access this one anytime and anywhere at their fingertips. So mga kaguro, okay, um, sabayan nyo lang po ako if you have your laptop or a computer with you. Uh, we can make this one with also the help of our uh, online app making platform which is Apps Gazer. You need to have an internet connection lang po so that we could make this kind of offline Android mobile application. So all we have to do is to open our search engine. You can use uh, Google or Microsoft Edge. So at this time, I will be using um, Google Chrome po. Okay, and then on the search bar, type lang po natin appsgazer.com. All right, and here in this part, po, you can see here there's a login option, and then top login, and there's a choices that right here that we can log in using our Google account or Facebook account, or you can sign up so that you could also enjoy some of the features present in this kind of online Android making uh, platform, and then of. Uh, for us to make this kind of application easier without uh, signing up and going to the whole process we could uh, directly um, connect this uh, off uh, this online app making platform using our Google account or Facebook account so at this time I will be using my Google account okay so i already choose which kind of account that i have and then i'm going to tap my password here you have to tap your password here and then it will authenticate if it is really you who log in using that kind of um account or Google account and then this kind of Google account that I lag on uh, is a new account so it shows here that I have to create my first app now but on the other uh, Google account that I have I already made a uh, lots of application so but at this time since you are the first since it will be your first time to create this um, application so I choose my new Google account so that we could work with this one easily all right and then type create now okay mga kaguro, all we have to search right here is create app okay so if we have tap already the create app option you will be directed to this kind of templates or options okay so we will tap individual okay and hanapin lang po natin yung book reader okay since we will be making a module app so we need a template for book reader all right mga kaguro and then tap nyo lang po yung next and then we're going to make a book title here I'm going to uh, make uh, module application of my ESP fourth quarter subject okay you need to make sure that you, you already have a copy of all the PDF copies of your modules so 
here in my end uh, I already have the copy of all the modules from a particular subject po. So at this time, gagawa po tayo ng module application uh, in our ESP subject. So I'm going to make a book title here, ESP4, since I am teaching in grade 4. Okay, and then top here, underscore, and then Q4. Okay, quarter four. I am making, I will be making this uh, quarter four module to all our learners. It's up to you if you're going to make a quarter two, it's okay. But here in my end, I'm going to demonstrate how I will be creating this module app with my fourth quarter modules. Okay, and then space or underscore again. And mo then type module 1 okay so if you can see here may tatlong choices po mga kaguro and all we have to tap here is upload PDF file and tap upload file and then we're going to search which folder where we save our modules since I will be uploading fourth quarter modules I have to find my ESP fourth quarter module so down um you have to upload only the pdf copy not the word uh copy so pdf copy only lang po mga kaguro. and then tap open and we have to wait for a short time and then it shows here successfully uploaded okay makikita po natin na may file na nandito and then uh, to make this one work easier Let's copy the book title and paste it here and then change this one to module 2 and upload PDF file. Choose the quarter 2 or module 2 uh, file and then add. Okay, since we have um, at least, I believe, 5 modules, we have to add another uh, options here. We have to add books, I mean, and then we have to change or paste the module title and then tap module 3 and then upload file for module 3. Okay, and then the PDF copy only and then hit open. Wait until it's successfully uploaded and it shows here it was successfully uploaded and then we have to type our module book title upload pdf file tap upload then the module 4 the same lang po hanggang sa um, upload na po natin lahat ng pdf copy of our modules make sure po you have a copy of all the modules that you have in a pdf copy po okay so i believe we have already uploaded the five um modules of our ESP quarter 4 subject so let's double check here module 1 module 2 3 4 and 5 and then if you can see here mga kaguro, the color theme uh, you can choose whatever color you want that will going to appear on your uh, mobile app this time I choose blue and then let's type app name ESP4 Yeah, ESP4 Q4 module Then tap next if You can see here we need to upload an icon uh, If you wanted to choose default app uh, icon If you wanted to choose default icon You don't need to upload an icon for this But if you really wanted to change this one to a custom icon let's use custom icon and then upload a logo or an icon so already have here the logo of this ESP module and then let's tap upload and then hit crack it's already here and then tap next and then tap create let's wait lang po until it will be successfully built up 
okay so it's showing up here already so this is the first mobile app or module app we have created all we have to do is to tap download apk okay we have a lot of choices here how to download this one we could send it through our email we can we can send this application also to the email of our learners and we can also provide them this link we have to copy this and send them to messenger so that they can download this one on their own or we could provide them this QR code so here in our end I will be uh, downloading this one directly and I'm going to install this one in my cell phone and I'm going to distribute this kind of module app to my pupils or to the parents of my pupils via share it or Bluetooth so at this time I'm going to tap APK Android package and let's wait until it successfully loads Lampo. your app is building please wait two to five minutes and it shows here builder response error contact us on support or appscaser.com don't worry about this one maybe uh, this online app platform is experiencing uh, connectivity issue we don't have to worry about it about this because um, right after they uh, successfully fix the issue um, we could download this one and install it to our um, smartphone or tablet so you don't have to worry because you already have this uh, the completed module application you can uh, download this one anytime uh, let's wait while this uh, website is still experiencing uh, an error or an outage or something like that so uh, this time mga kaguro keep on watching lang po because I already a copy of this ESPQ4 module on my phone and I'm going to teach you how to install this one yes uh, keep on watching and please uh, listen and watch carefully because this will going to help you work with your first module application that could really help your learners study at home without compromising their health thank you so much mga kaguro Mga kaguro, I have successfully downloaded the application that uh, I just made in Apps Gazer and ito na po siya. All we have to do is to tap this application and then install. Okay, just tap install. Okay, and it's now installing and just wait for a few uh, seconds lang po. And there are times for na uh, your Google Play will going to scan this kind of application and will show a warning message that this kind of app is not secured. So it's okay, don't worry about it because uh, since this application is not registered yet in Google Play, uh, where Google Play will going to scan and will and will show us an. A warning message that this kind of application is potentially insecure don't worry about it um, just continue installing your module app okay so I believe we have successfully installed it right now all we had to do is to open and check what is really inside of this module app Okay, mga kaguro, just keep on watching as we're going to open this module app we have right now. Alright, so we have opened already this module app we have here. I believe we have five modules total and we are in the list view. Uh, it to change natin just uh, grid view, Get, just click here and find the setting and then change to grid view and then go back home and ito po yung 
itsura ng grid view natin. Let's try to open module 1. Okay, so this is the module 1 and top read. Okay, from page 1 all the way down to the last page. Let's check this one. Alright, it is really the same module that we are printing. The good thing about this because it is digital, it has a lot of function here where we can zoom in and zoom out the text present here. Okay, we can zoom in and zoom out the text. Right, and then we could uh, jump to a specific page where we wanted to read. Okay, see right here that you have to enter the page number you wanted to read. Napakadali lang po siya mga guro. Alright, so I believe mga guro, um, if you're given a chance to work with this one on your own, you have mastered the whole procedure already and you will be able to help your school in minimizing the consumption of printing materials and would also provide a better learning experience to your pupils wherein at their fingertips they can learn using their smartphone and tablets and they have an access of this kind of module at home and they could learn it anytime and anywhere and they don't need to go to school to, to get the weekly module alright so I believe we can uh, work this one right after watching this video I hope that this video help you a lot in working your first mobile application about the modules that we have in school thank you so much for watching mga kaguro this is Sergio Ray again have a great day and keep safe everyone